I love microscopes. In fact, I've loved them my entire life. Well, just about my entire life, at least for the past 60 years. And I try to encourage parents to introduce microscopes to their children, but the microscope I preferred over the last 20 or 30 years is the low-power stereo microscope because it's much easier to use than a compound microscope. Compound microscopes affordable to parents can be very frustrating because they lack a mechanical stage, they lack fine focus control in general, and they just don't have the optics. One of the things that has changed recently, however, is that we're able to attach a smartphone to a microscope, and that makes things a little bit easier. So I've decided to look and see if I can find a low-cost microscope that might be useful to young children. And this is one of them that I looked at. It's the Swift 360 Super HD microscope, and it comes with a smartphone adapter. This microscope offers three different powers, 60 power, 120 power, and 200 power. It's also sold under the Discovery Channel brand and other brands. In addition to the smartphone adapter, it also includes some other accessories, including two prepared slides to allow you to get started. Here we see the slide at 60 power and at 120 power. We can move to the 200 power and then we'll see how we can zoom in and out with our finger using the smartphone. Here we are at 2 power. That's all the way out. That's good for positioning. But then when we want to look closer, we can use our fingers to go in closer. But then we have some issues with focusing. We'll talk about this later. But the real test for me is not slides. It's live specimens. And here we have live specimens, which are protozoa, and some stenter culture. What we'll see here is that this has somewhat useful optics. It's not as bad as most of the uh, toy microscopes. However, it can be very difficult to focus and slide positioning is also very difficult. When you're trying to chase down protozoa that are moving, things can get very tough. So here we are at 60 power, and we'll show it at 120, and then again at 200. And remember, we can zoom in and out using our fingers on the smartphone. We are now at 120 power, and as you can see, it takes a little while for us to get anything close to really focused. The optics aren't terrible, but chasing down focus can be a bit frustrating. But what's really frustrating is when we have to try to move and follow these uh, protozoa. At 200 power, things really get difficult. Now we can zoom in and out using our fingers, but focusing is the real issue. And obviously, now that we're at a higher power, moving the slide around at all becomes very difficult. Having said all this, there is one trick that really makes 200 power work, and that's moving the aperture disc slightly with live specimens, and you get this wonderful contrast. That's not bad for an inexpensive microscope. So what's the bottom line? It's not a terribly expensive microscope, and I do like it enough to give it to one of the families with children in my neighborhood. Now that's saying something given the fact that I have historically discouraged parents from buying compound microscopes up to now. I do love the idea of the all-in-one package with both microscope and smartphone adapter in one box. 
That's very convenient. And the included adapter is the easiest to use of the five I have tested. And that's very nice. If the primary use is going to be to view prepared slides, then not having a mechanical stage isn't a big deal. But with moving objects like protozoa, it's definitely difficult. The very stiff focus is my least favorite aspect of using this microscope. But even this can be improved with a little help from a 3D printed part and I'll upload the file to Thingiverse. It's not true fine focus, but it does help. Before making a final purchasing decision, it might be helpful to check out the Amazon Basics microscope. I'll include a link to it in my written review. The important thing is that now that smartphone adapters for microscopes are easily available, I can confidently recommend a compound scope in addition to a low power stereoscope to parents of school aged children. I hope this review has been helpful to you because I don't want children to be frustrated by a tool that should bring so much pleasure for their entire life. Even though my own initial scope given to me by my parents wasn't the greatest, that little Tasco has been with me my entire life and started me on an adventure that I've enjoyed immensely for decades. It is my hope that many children grow to adulthood with that same appreciation for their first microscope. So I hope this review has been helpful to you as you try to choose a microscope for your child or grandchild. If my experience is any guide, you will be fondly remembered long after you're gone. My mother and father gave me many wonderful gifts, but this little Tasco has been among my most precious.